In this video tutorial, I'm going to quickly show you how to configure your Tracer EP EVA A and AN series charge controller to use lithium ion batteries. Now, if you have standard, um, if you have a standard battery array pack such as a 3S 12 volt with 18650 batteries or a 7S 24 volt um, battery arrays then you can just go to my blog and copy the settings of course the first thing you'll need to do is open your um, EP EVA administration software so you just install that the links below and you go parameters control parameter control parameter and then you click the read button and that will import all the settings from your controller and then what you need to do is update those settings with the settings that I've got on my blog. So if we go over there, you see we've got 12 volt, 24, 36, 48 settings there. However, if you want to manually be able to set your own um, charge and um, charging limit and discharging limit voltages, and you may do this if you're using um, recycled laptop batteries or if you just want your batteries to last a lot longer um, as an example um, if you um, discharge them right down to 50% of charge um, they'll last heaps longer and um, in mission critical situations the charge controller normally only charges up to about 4.1 volts just so it's never going to be overcharged. Um, to do that, all you need to do is download the spreadsheet that I've got linked below. So you just go File, Download, Microsoft Excel, and then you open it with Excel or LibreOffice. And then what you can do is, firstly, you can just go and select between the different voltages there. But as an example, if I wanted to never charge my cells over exactly 12 volts, then I can just take, I can delete the function that's in here and just type 12. And now all of the rest of the values will recalculate. <clears throat> of course, you never want your um, battery to go below to uh, below three volts. So you'd change that, get rid of the function and change it to nine. And now that's going to be three. Or if we wanted to do 9.1, so it's a little bit higher. Now it's 303, but you get the idea. And that's how easy it is to update the settings on your EP Ever Tracer controller to use lithium batteries.